So, hello and welcome to my first Let's Fix It, is what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be trying to fix my old PlayStation Portable, which I just like, um, yeah, um, found in the basement. And, well, I remembered that I have it, and the last time I had it in my hands, it didn't work at all. Like, when I tried to turn it on, just like the light in the lower corner blinked, but nothing happened. Then I just left it down there because I, well, didn't really want to spend the time trying to fix it. Um, but now I'm quite motivated after watching several YouTube videos about fixing stuff. And yeah, well, I already had a look at it. Like you can see up here, it's already open. I didn't want to close it up again just to like show you a closed PSP. I will tell you everything what I did. But yeah, first I will show you like what it's doing and what it's not doing. Um, so basically the only thing that's not really working is like the R button. Um, maybe I'd rather show it like this. So if I, it, it feels normal, it looks normal on the inside, but for some reason the um, PlayStation Portable isn't recognizing the input. So now I'm gonna show you what happens when I turn it on. I hope you can see it well enough. You can also like hold it a bit closer to the camera. Yeah, now it's focused. Um, so yeah, basically everything is working, like all the buttons are working on this side. It's so like, um, yeah, well, the analog stick is like uh, normally also working, but right now in the menu you can use it. Um, so, there is, um, yeah, you can show it here. I go to the search. Um, yeah, and then well, I just enter some random stuff. So you see the, the X button is working and square as well, like cancel works as well, like the circle button and triangle works as well. So then there is uh, select working as well. Um, this is like the screen lighting. Yeah, I think it's better if I turn it down. Uh, <clears throat> so what else is there? Yeah, like the L button is working fine, but the R button is not. It feels fine but it doesn't do anything. Everything else is like working, volume up and down, um, start, like now it's selected, but I don't have an internet connection right now. So yeah, <laughs> um, so this is the state my PlayStation Portable is in right now. So um, yes, delete don't need this anymore. Yeah, this is where we start and well, now I will sh disconnect it from, um, from the power and then I will show you what it looks like on the inside. So let's just shut it down. Yeah, disconnect the power and open it up. As I've said, I've already removed all the screws, but I can show you quickly. There is one down here, two are here and here, and then there are a couple on the back, like um, normally there's a warranty sticker right here and there's a screw underneath. There is a screw which you have to remove, and on the other side here and here are some screws. So it's also very dirty, I need to clean it, <laughs> but that's another problem. So yeah, now I'm gonna open it up. So you have to be really careful because there are like uh, some tiny latches. So yeah, um, and also like the buttons are in here. So yeah, as you can see, I already screwed it up a bit. Like this one is broken and uh, the one on this side, uh, no, the other side here is kind of bent but it's at least still on there so yeah you really have to be careful about those so yeah all right so this is 
what the PSP looks like on the inside. So first thing I'm gonna do like is um, well I figured like um, the R button is connected to this piece of ribbon cable um, or like this yeah big piece of ribbon cable plus the button. So yeah you can't see it right now but under this trigger is like a tiny uh, rubber button and yeah I want to access that so I think we should remove the screen to gain more access to this thing here. So that's what I'm gonna try to do first. I'm gonna remove this here. Like first you need to remove this lower lower bar of buttons. Um, I think I'm it's like not the first time I'm doing it, but it's been quite a while since I've done it the last time. I hope you can see well enough what I'm doing here. Like I'm trying to lift it up here from the side. And also like at the same time get it up from down here. So I think I like got it open here. So now I just have to yeah put it up from this side. Perfect. So this side is disconnected. Now we still need to like get the other side. Hello cat. <laughs> There's a cat on my lap now which is well maybe it's improving things. Like you're here to give me confidence right? <laughs> Just don't walk all over the stuff. There's a bit of hair on the screen as well. So yeah, now we still need to like open up the other side. Um, yeah, so on this side, yeah, we did it. So this is open now, but I think you can't remove it because yeah, it's connected by a ribbon cable down here. So you just like pull it forward and leave it alone then. So now I think we should be able to lift the screen like we can like it's just like clipped in at some points I think if I remember correctly. So yes one clip definitely just like got out but I think there's one on this side as well. So don't do it with too much force because like it's also correct connected by ribbon cables. But what I wonder I think this here is holding it back so I just like think if you try to pull this out there. You really have to be careful when you're working with uh, metal tools on this but yeah this worked fine. Um, so yeah, it would be more ideal if I had like uh, some plastic tools for this because it's like much less likely to hurt the hardware. But I think I didn't destroy anything. The question now is just, yeah, now I really got it out. Like you also have to pull it out down there a bit. So now you can like get the screen out of the way. I think I can just leave it connected. I will just like put something underneath. Yeah, like my purse, <laughs> not purse, my, my um, money bag, don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's okay. Now we see a bit more. Um, so I can show you like the replacement part I bought um, because like I figure that it's not that uh, easy to like replace or like fix something that's wrong in the ribbon cable and the replacement part was like pretty cheap. It's like five euros or something. I think even less including shipping. So yeah, it's not really worth to bother trying to fix that thing. Um, I just hope it's not something else that's broken uh, related to the button, but I think it's really directly connected to um, the ribbon cable. So yeah, what I'm trying to do first will be um, like disconnect this uh, external button pieces. So let me switch to uh, another screwdriver. So you can just remove this screw and I'll put it to the side. 
So then you can just pick up this plastic piece that's holding the button in place. So to keep keep this safe, then you can like I think just um, take out the button. Yeah, there it is. So here we are. Got the button removed. So we'll keep that safe as well. And now you can see what I mean. So this is like the actual button and it feels well, it feels all right. Like doesn't, there's nothing too obvious that's wrong with it, but there might've been some corrosion inside, some, some, uh, yeah, moisture got in or something. I don't know. Um, like it never got like real water damage, but it was like stored in not ideal storage spaces. So yeah maybe something like that so now that i have a look at it well i have to remove the ribbon cable down here so i think i can just like uh, open it up from this side yep it's open now you can just do it with your um, fingernails if you like like me didn't cut them in a while but yeah i will do that after this because right now they are pretty useful so now like the first piece of ribbon cable is removed I don't know yet if I have to remove this tiny board down here to like get the rim cable structure out underneath or if I can just like slide it slide it through there I will see about that later but first I have to like remove it up here as well and yep it's open and okay like I think I would use my other screwdriver as uh, some help here to just pull it out from this board if I can manage. So, so far it's not really moving. I think I might have to like disconnect this power connector here. Um, I wonder what's the best way to do it. I can like remove this plastic, but I don't know if this will. This is not really giving me a ton of more access. But hey, it's removed now. Just remember where it goes. It's not that difficult, I think. Because like, yeah, like the, the shape is like already telling you where it needs to go. Like this, obviously. Yeah, just got to remember that. Um, Otherwise I have to consult my video that I'm recording right now. So yeah, it is open, but it's pretty hard to remove right now. But hey, I can like just, um, well, first like try to remove this power cable. I really don't want to do it with like um, the metal tool, but I might have to try to like only get it from the side here. Yeah, it seems to be sliding out all right already. So let's continue really carefully. Uh -huh. hmm. I wonder if I can do it without um, removing that cable and just sliding it underneath should be possible if I can remove this ribbon cable from here. Now it's removed. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta take a leap of faith like I did right now. At least I feel like I did. And then I will try to like slide it underneath again. But first I have to like remove the parts here and get the ribbon cable out starting up here. Well, at least that's what I'm gonna try. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like winging it. <laughs> But obviously this has to come out somehow. Um, I really hope it won't be mo more broken than before after I'm done with it. Um, so like I think it's kind of glued on because like I can show you like my replacement piece um, that I got. Oh, I already took it out. So yeah this is what i've ordered and i think you can remove it down here and really glue it on so yeah i think it might be glued on right now so i have to kind of 
get it out um, and like remove the glue or like yeah like rip it off <laughs> so that's not going to be easy especially if i wanted to slide underneath here but this doesn't seem to be fixed on the board so that's good so i can actually slide it underneath i think we'll see about that soon but yeah this is the replacement piece so you know what this looks like now it's a bit different but the shapes are identical so i think it's gonna work i think it's like just like a off-brand replacement piece so yeah that's so like this fold will be a challenge for me <laughs> Maybe not for people who really know what they are doing, but yeah, as I said, I'm just winging it right now. So let's see if I can remove this. This really seems to be glued on. I don't like that because then I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna destroy this piece. I mean, I am gonna replace it, but I would have liked to keep it in well, more or less working order, but I don't think that's an option. So yeah, it's definitely stuck to the board. I'm just peeling it off. I think I'm doing all right so far, but now the question is if it's fixed underneath this board up here. Just gonna like keep on uh, peeling from, from the top here. Seems to be going all right. No, don't don't put pressure on this thing as I did right now. This is pretty stupid. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to replace this piece as well. <laughs> so better don't touch it if you can prevent it from being touched. So yeah, this sliding underneath, at least for removing, already worked. That's great. This side it seems to be working as well as far as I can tell, but now it's yeah, it's removed perfect. We did it, so the removal part is already done. So the next step is like applying the new piece. Well, since it was like glued on, I think it will be fine to glue uh, to, to like apply the new piece without cleaning much first because it should be clean it was like pretty much on there airtight mm, maybe not airtight but i don't think any dust could have come in between at least not until i removed it now there obviously can but i think the best bet is to apply this new piece as fast as i can so yeah this is the way it goes on there kind of <laughs> So yeah, what I gotta do is this edge, it will be a bit hard because like, I think it was, yeah, it actually was on there. So yeah, I think it is the best bet to remove this board as well. I should have done that before, but I was lazy. So I'm gonna do it now anyway, <laughs> better late than never. At least I hope I didn't do any damage so far. Guess I'll see at the end if there is no power then, then I did something terribly wrong. So here comes the screw, thank you. And I will just put it here to remember it. Uh, now I hope I can easily remove this. I don't know if it's connected anywhere else, but I think it's just on some pins. Yes, it comes out pretty easily, but now like, yeah, you have to put it on the switch again later on. So yeah, this is the actual power switch 
so yeah now it's removed and i will put it to the side as well because now we like have access to everything we need right now mm, i wonder no there's no glue on this side as well that's great i was hoping that uh, this replacement board doesn't have like glue underneath this string because that would have like complicated things all right so now let us check again how this goes in because like this has to be on top there um yeah this goes here and then this just slides up there so all right this is what we're gonna do first we gotta remove it again now i put it on this middle pin and it's like a bit stuck uh, yeah here we go so let's just peel it off i think and then apply it to where it goes Come on, spread over there. Okay, it doesn't want to like go over here, that's not ideal. first i think i can like put this on here because like the button is um to be glued on as well and i don't want dust to be stuck on there everything else that gets glued on is already connected i think so now for sliding this through i wonder if i can get like a bit of light from the other side here let me just like rearrange this a bit and yeah, now it could work let me see i think this is gonna work like this yeah there's a bit of like the protection layer still left here i wonder where okay right if i like turn it around i don't know on which thing this goes it's on the original as well but it's like folded over the original cable so i don't think it goes anywhere maybe from the top somewhere so looking good so far And it's through. So now we need to fold it or well we can do that later. First I will like try to reconnect the power button. Here it comes. I think it's correct uh, connected correctly so just reapply this one screw i think this would be the water damage indicator and it would be like 
all one color if there was actual water damage if I'm not mistaken but that's just a guess So this is back on there. Let's just try. Yeah, it goes wonderfully in both directions. So this seems to be reconnected just fine. I can like reconnect the ribbon cable here. Let's just slide in there. Doesn't feel like it's all the way in, but I don't know it might be. So let's just get it down here while it's connected in a pretty much straight way. So yeah, there's like it looks like there is like the border supposed to be, so it could be fine. Just feels like it would go further in on the top side, but not on the lower side here, so I don't know. But I think it's fine for now. Um, this one will be like the main challenge now. just compare so it's like folded like this originally but also not like mm -hmm. you can probably not see it but I'm just folding it over without like making any permanent choices and trying to get it into the connector so that it will be guiding me after it's connected. I think I got it in. Right, and now I will close it up. It's closed. I think it's in there pretty okay. So now everything is connected. I think this will be pushed down by the screen. Should be fine like this. I don't want to cause any, any internal damage there. It's like a bit folded up. I think you could like try to pull it more in this direction and then fold it into the corner. But I think it will be all right like this. So I will just try to keep it this way. Now this seems to be like a bit crooked in there. So let me just try to get it evened out. Yeah. Maybe like this. That seems to be pretty much pretty much straight in there. Yeah, so the last thing I need to do is like um, before I close it up again or like test it out, is like connect this or push put this button on the top here. So let's do that. So it's been all the way to the back. I think this should be fine. Yeah, let's hope it is. <laughs> it's not much to guide you there, but I think it's pretty much where the button is supposed to be. So now, um, yeah, I think it's time to like put back this little piece of uh, rubber protection. Perfect. So now we can pull back the screen. I wonder how far I should close it up to just be able to test it. And I could also like just connect the power right now, but I wouldn't be able to use any buttons. So um, well, before we.
we put back the screen, we should like reconnect the actual trigger, I think. So let's just assume like we did everything correctly and this works now. Let me just clean this up a bit or just like a, it's pretty easy to get this button out. So I can just like clean it up properly later. For now, I just want to know if it's working again. <laughs> so let's put this in here. Yeah, this is where the button goes and it's pushing wonderfully on the actual rubber button so we can like put on the rail that's uh, preventing it from falling out this is the way it goes so here we are just a little screw So it's lifting a bit in the corner here because I didn't really put it on there properly, but I hope it won't be a problem in the long run. <laughs> yeah, sloppy work there, but hey, first try. <laughs> and if I messed up, well, I have to order another one for five euros. <laughs> not what I wish for, but also not like that much damage done so yeah this one is connected right now mm -hmm. so now we can like put back the screen let's try to not just force it down but help out a bit by um, yeah working on this plastic here so yeah now it slides down just fine on the other side it's already down i think so yeah now it's clicked in i think so now for the lower button bar this just pops back in pretty perfectly so well, we definitely have to clean the screen before we really close it up. But for now, I will just like put this back on. Um, without doing any damage to anything inside. So yeah, this is how far it will close, I think, without, without clo closing it perfect permanently. Ah, can't talk anymore. <laughs> Too focused on this. So yeah, let's just try out if we destroyed it completely or, well, uh, let's say I destroyed it completely. You are not at fault here. So I connect to the power and I try to turn it on. Moment of truth coming up. Just shutting down the light first. <laughs> so let's see what we did here. Power on. Screen is still working. <laughs> so we are off to a good start. Well, the left side is still working, obviously. We didn't mess up anything there. So. <laughs> I'm really nervous about this. Let's try out some buttons. Okay, this one worked. <laughs> so, let's see, going back still works as well. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it exciting, like the moment of truth will come when I try the R button. It will be a big disappointment if I do it after a lot of build up. So this is still working. This is still working. Now for the L button and the R button is working. I did it. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so much screwing around, but it did what it was supposed to do. I'm happy. So now time for the final reassembly. 
like already pushed in the front plate but it still needs to be like tightened by the screws so let's right now i think one of these tiny screws that go up in here is missing so yeah i really have to like look around if i can find it or if i can find a proper replacement i need to switch like the screwdriver first Also, a thing you shouldn't do working with cats in the room. At least that's like advanced difficulty. <laughs> so maybe I should have put in the screws in the back first because like they hold like quite a bit of the um, yeah, of the pull that comes from inside here. Okay, the magnetic speakers, I think. Pulling on the screw. Hope this one goes here. It's fine. Yeah, I haven't cleaned out the back or uh, the back of the case or like the battery case here. But yeah, I've cleaned like the front, so it looks at least nice up front. And well, I can still clean out this stuff later. So first screw in. Here comes another. So this side is done, now for back here, don't know if I can reach this deep with my regular screwdriver, but I think, well I have another one here, I can just use this one, okay, with like my Raspberry Pi case I think, but it's pretty useful for this as well. Yeah, so now it's nice and tight. Here comes another one. And, well, not really the last one, but the last one I do have <laughs> goes down here. Um, Yeah, so that's screwed in as well. So one up here is missing right now. <laughs> I will just check if I can find it somewhere. Like probably the cat knocked it somewhere. Like he was walking over the table in the beginning and I... Yeah, I couldn't prevent him, him from walking straight over the screws, so... Yeah, now I'm screwed. <laughs> well, but this seems to be working all right now. Let me check once more now that it's closed. So, so this is like the final result of my repair and my cleaning. Like, um, yeah, I think um, all the dust is on the outside, some scratches on the screen protector. Uh, the screen protector definitely needs to be changed. I hope I can find one. Um, yeah, everything else I cleaned uh, as good as I could. So it looks a lot better than before. There are still some things to do. Oh yeah, and I found the second screw. So yeah, that's... Um, yeah, that was lucky because like the cat actually did walk over it, but like he didn't carry it through the whole room, but just like a few centimeters away. So that's great.
Um, yeah, also cleaned the back now. It's not perfect and a bit scratched, but hey, it's um, it's not that bad either. So yeah, um, already some cat hair again on it, but yeah, I'm quite happy with the result. Um, let me just turn it on. It's running on battery again now. So this is what it looks like now. So here we are, just like testing it with the search function again. So we can like enter stuff and then yeah, just like browse through it with both buttons. What I noticed like is that a cat right now is making some causing causing some havoc under the table. So yeah, one thing I noticed is like um, when I'm using the left button, the left shoulder button, the one I didn't switch out, um, like it's not as responsive as it could be, as you see right now. Uh, you need to push it down a little bit further, like with a little bit of force and then it's working. Like the one on the right is like really res responsive. So I might at some point switch out the button on the left side as well and like the whole ribbon cable board that I switched out on the right side. But I think for now it's good enough. Like normally you don't play like just with these tiny presses. Hello, Mr. Cat. Um, but like with, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get some cat hair on this and there are no screws left for you to kick around. So yeah, um, I think this turned out pretty, pretty great for, well, <laughs> a pretty much improvised repair. So what the fuck? What are you doing down there? <laughs> Oh, cats, <laughs> you are so weird. So yeah, uh, <laughs> this is uh, what it's looking like now. And yeah, I'm quite happy with the results. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if so, give me a thumbs up. If not, um, I don't know, like um, <laughs> you can leave me a thumbs down or a comment telling me um, about all the stupid stuff I did during the repair. I'm really happy if you tell me like things I could have done better. Um, but otherwise I hope this might help some people who want to repair their PSP in 2019 as well. But yeah, um, this is it for me. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this. Uh, I will do more repairs if I encounter more devices that need repairing. Because like I really like um, fixing stuff. So yeah, that might happen more often. Otherwise I will do, of course, again, more Let's Plays. So yeah, see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye. <laughs>